And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the return of Swole Cat, one of my very favorite decks to play. This deck is playing Swole Squirrel, and we started it, it as a meme tier deck, but it's done pretty well. We even took it to Master's Rank last time, and it did well. So we're going to take it back to Master's Rank. It's just a lot of fun to play. So we have a support deck with Young Witch, Lulu, and Shen, and we're going to be supporting... Flower Child, um, oh, also support card Legion Drummer, but we're going to be supporting our Flower Child and Trifarian Glory Seeker. Trifarian Glory Seeker is honestly maybe the most important card in our deck. This one is just so good with Legion Drummer when you can give it Quick Attack. That's an awesome combo. Or also with Lulu, where you can make Glory Seeker a 4-4, so it has more health, so it can survive with Challenging. Both very good. And then, of course, with Shen. If you can give the Glory Seeker a barrier, with Shen, also very good. But besides that... Um, we are going to be playing Swole Squirrel that can uh, be supported with all those things and all those same things. Try to help keep it alive, uh, be able to strike, double its power. Um, our other combo with Swole Squirrel is with Fey Guide, giving it Elusive. So we can uh, have a really big Elusive, so they can't even block it. And then, um, finally, uh, if they are going to be blocking it, we can also give it Overwhelm. So we have Cat of the Arm supporting with a plus three, plus zero, and Overwhelm. So lots of support stuff in here. Um, it's Kato the Arm. Sorry, Kato the Arm. Um, Katarina is in here to help give us multiple attacks. Because when you have when you have like your support stuff going, you really want to be able to rally and get more attacks with all of these support things. So that's where Katarina is in here to help us with that. And then one Captain Farron at the top end. So if our opponent's you know stabilizing, we're not really supporting too well. Boom, just play Captain Farron and create some Decimates, and that can help your problems go away. So we're going to go play five games in Ranked, and we will see how we do. It's just a fun one to play. I like I like these two regions together and um, <clears throat> get to do some, some stuff that the opponent's maybe not expecting. They're probably not used to playing against a deck like this. All right, playing against just Mono Lee Sins. We have three champions, they have one, so our deck is three times as good as theirs. So I don't really see how we can lose with a deck three times as good. Love Culling Strike, love Glory Seeker, love Lulu. It's basically, do we want to play Young Witch or not? That's the main question here. Yes, Young Witch or no Young Witch. I'm not sure. I'm going to go... We'll go no Young Witch. tough call because young witch does work perfectly with glory seeker but if i'm playing glory seeker on two and lulu on three you know i'm not really having time for young witch so it wouldn't be until like turn four and then at that point do i really want it i don't know we each hold a world <clears throat> within victory requires a sharp blade maybe i should have kept it because if they if i go lulu on turn three and then they play something that blocks lulu real well i don't know i, I could just go like the young witch here and we know the Young Witch is getting through. Okay, okay. I could also go Legion Drummer. Stop eating or no more walkies. Playing the Flower Child first to see if they spend mana. Then maybe they think they're a little more safe than what they are. Cast Deep Meditation. Darn. Probably Concussive Palm, that'd be my guess. Yep, Concussive Palm. Alright, so we'll just trade... I'm just going to trade Legion Drummer for that. Get get an attack in, get a support in, get this Flower Child buffed up. Your attack is obvious. Yeah, it's obvious. I mean, I... Not trying to fool anybody here. Good attack. Cooling Strike should be pretty decent in this matchup where they they, ha they only have two threats, Eye of the Dragon and Lee Sin, and both of those die to Cooling Strike. Looking into the future, I see purple. Hmm. Let's just yeah, let's just get rid of that. Don't have to worry about a Pell Cascade right there. Be 
could be a good whimsy turn on this Mentor of the Stones if, if they use like some pump spells on it. Alright, two supports for Lulu. Only I can endure the dragon's fury. Cooling strike's probably not gonna work, right? It's a good draw. Blade's Edge would be able to break up a barrier, but my my plan is like stand you like they're gonna challenge something. My plan is like stand united. Keep that thing to the challenge alive. So I, I could play the Katarina with the Stand United. Um, I'm just gonna pass. I'm not sure if I play the Katarina first or not. So I wasn't, wasn't sure about. Is it possible that they just pass back to me? So I guess I should play this, because I want to play it. Yeah, so they, they ran out of time. Looks like they took too long. Yeah, it looks like they just took too long. I could, like, block this and Blade's Edge and Might. But I think I just want to... I don't know. I kind of want to Whimsy... This mentor the stones. Your own mischief. So we'll see if they have if they have pale cascade. If they want to cast pale cascade on on the spacey sketcher. Then we'll whimsy the spacey sketcher afterwards. Oh no, that's a lot worse. I didn't. Why didn't I really consider that? Oh well. Um. That's, I guess that's fine. We just cast Lulu again. So that, that's actually fine. Yeah, never mind. That's fine. <laughs> okay. So we will... Attack like this. I'll put them down to zero. So zero is good. And we have Might that can do more damage. Yeah. GG's. And then we we'd even have the Stand United. So I think our deck does a good job of helping Lulu with all the other support stuff for her, with the Challengers and with the Elusive. I think we do a good job of helping Lulu stay alive in combat. Okay, well we're gonna keep one drop, two drop. I feel like Whirling, Stand United we're gonna mulligan. I feel like Whirling Death could be okay. Yeah, Whirling Death seems like it could be a good just three mana removal for something. So we're gonna keep Stand United. On second thought, <laughs> we'll just keep that one. Ooh, Young Witch. That may be better than Legion Drummer. I was thinking like Legion Drummer works well with the Whirling Death. You have to always worry about Young Witch against the Shadow Isles decks. With their one damage. Oh, yes. 
We'll just go with the drummer. Cool, no ravenous butcher. Show them the might of Noxus. Would you get too close? I've never seen an opponent miss on Stalking Shadows, but I've missed a few times. Probably four or five by now. I can also see it just not worth playing the Young Witch and just saving all three spell mana for Whirling Death. I'm not sure. I know what lurks in the shadows. You guys have really got to keep your voices down. Okay. <laughs> okay. Dude, Fey Guide is sweet. Turn this thing into being a really big elusive. Fighters to go along with Elise, so Elise is not leveling up. That's why it's really important to block that other 1-1. One, one. So if I <clears throat> if I want to keep my Legion Drummer alive, I have to support the Legion Drummer. But if I support the Legion Drummer, then I'm not supporting the Glory Seeker. Right, and so I can play the Young Witch, and then life's great unless they have Vile Feast. If I play Young Witch and they have Vile Feast, then we're kind of in we're in a little bit of trouble, where I can just go regular Whirling Death. Um, or I can go Whirling Death here and and save. You're mine. Maybe just do that. Just attack like this. And have Whirling Death available, but then, then I, you know, I don't have my my Glory Seeker is not quick attacked. Well, that's okay. Okay. Um, that could be a problem. Let's let's see. I guess maybe. Okay, so if I play this, we, we'll have Stand United next turn. We won't have Stand United and Whirling Death. All right, we're just not going to play this. <clears throat> My true beauty. Yeah, maybe I should have murdered the Elise. What's up, Shame? Yeah, maybe I should have murdered the Elise. I salute you. We'll be fine, though. We'll be fine. Fusion keeps that thing alive. <laughs> but they're still saying GG's. So I don't think that they'll have a removal spell. Doesn't sound like for the Flower Child. Um, I think it's worth still playing these things before attacks. Uh, worst case scenario is Arachnoid Sentry. Worst case was Decimate. I guess just Decimate Noxion Fervor. With seven mana? No, because they had seven mana. De decimate would not have been bad. Yeah, 
Yeah, this has this has to be game. I give you <laughs> Worst case was team out. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. Elixir of Wrath into Atrocity. Alright, playing against some scouts. No glory seeker. Keep the Legion drummer for our Glory Seeker that we're going to draw. Tilt. I'm actually here. <laughs> oh. We just get the cards that we mulligan right back. I keep step with the heartbeat of Noxus. Definitely think about just not playing it and just keeping Culling Strike up. Strike and grace, beauty in the play. Well, that's not so bad. So, we can't kill Lulu then, right? With this, is it, so I get to attack? Well, I mean, they could have like Mega Rain <clears throat> and other stuff like that. Wow, no blocks. I was expecting at least a 2 4 to block. Okay, okay. Whimsy looks good. But I guess I guess Culling Strike's better. Well, see, Culling Strike can hit champions, though, where Whimsy can't. But we have Whirling Death that can hit stuff, too. Yuck, should have gone Whimsy. Ouch, that hurt. That hurt. <laughs> yeah, you told me, Cabo. My bad. My bad. Spark and I will keep you safe. I'll write my own story. There's a chill in the air. Are they down to eight? There's Glory Seeker. He My finally showed up. <clears throat> finally. Yeah, I wish I had Whimsy. Their pride will cost them. I mean, I need one more mana for Might, Spirits, Refuge, and Whirling Death. I need one more mana. I think I may just go Might, Spirits, Refuge, so that means I would gain 6 life and go to 18. Um, <clears throat> don't have to be too scared of 18 damage, because see, they'll have 4, 8, 12, 30, 40, 15. You think I should use Might next round and go Spirits, Refuge, Whirling Death? Okay, yeah, you'll, all right, you'll like Whirling Death more. It's still, this, yeah, I guess it's the same kind of thing, right, of <clears throat> gaining six life either way, but then the Might can do damage to them. So if I just attack, challenge here, give this quick attack, make it 8, 8 minus 2 is 6, 79. So yeah, so we do kill them. Um, so Lulu can help slightly. I don't really kill them through any spell. <clears throat> 
Yeah, against against the spells, I don't really kill them. If they have make it rain or single combat or something like that. Repost. I challenged the wrong thing. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I mean all right, Lisa and Zed. <laughs> yeah, so it's probably better to play the Lulu. Double Flower Child? I kind of like Double Flower Child. I mean, no, we need it. We need some spells to interact. We need some. We need some interaction spells. But yeah, while while I was like debating in my head Lulu or not, and like how would how would they punish me playing Lulu, and then kind of talking about that, then I I just pulled the wrong card, but it still worked out. So now, if I knew my next two cards were Young Witch and Legion Drummer, two more support things, probably should have kept the other Flower Child as well. But I kind of I'm kind of glad that I mulliganed it because we do need to find some spells to be able to help interact. Am I? <clears throat> Casting Legion Drummer and trading. Sharpen the blade, secure nope. the kill. I'd like to play Lulu this turn, but my better play is my better play is a quick attack support. And so we got three mana, so I'll play that first. See what they do. This is Zed. We're playing at Zed Lee. Looking into the future, I see purple. Yeah, no spells hurts. So I could have like Young Witch and Transfusion and then next turn Cato. Or I could just play Lulu and then Cato next turn and I don't have Transfusion. I probably want Transfusion. So I think we I think we don't play Lulu because I think my plan next turn is Cato then. Have to use transfusion right now to kill this thing. Oh, he likes you. I'll just trade away a flower child, I guess. And unfortunately, they only have nine cards, not ten, so they do get to draw this card. All right, so I was planning on going Kato. Kato, sorry. I was planning on going Kato, but we drew Glory Seeker. Victory requires a sharp blade. That was nice. Okay, so we're going to have quick attack support here. Challenge, challenge. Slow down. This way. Oh. You're mine. Face me. Would you get too close? Can I paint you? Insist on fighting when you could step aside. You cannot tell the wind to change direction. Okay. We'll do one damage here. Would have had Lulu level up. They didn't have that silence. Good silence. We want to draw spells. 
Lee Sin can definitely kill us. Spilled paint is just accidental art. Don't need to draw another unit. We're good on units. We need a spell. Spells in the deck. Just drew one this game. Within my grasp. <laughs> Alright, so we can eat one of these with Kato. I apologize to your parents. I think that's all I do. I think that's all we do. Down to four. Sorry to hear that for nothing. Alright, support. Let's give that overwhelm. I mean we could give the five one overwhelm. Which wouldn't be bad either. I'll cut them apart. Maybe we do that. Alright, and then we'll quick attack the Lulu who supports this. Well, I guess we need to support this flower child. Alright, that's fine. We'll do it like that. We want to have Lulu, you know, challenge later so that... Or, you know, support later, sorry. So that it levels up first before it supports. So it turns that other thing into a 5-5. Five -five. Alright, and hopefully this is enough damage. It's still... That's still 6, 9, 12, 17. So there we go. GG's. The dragon approaches. Don't make you act. Oh no. No, they found a blocker. Down to one. Yeah, gained life and grabbed a blocker. Was the claws of the dragon. We're pretty good. I'll play the Shen because the Lulu is going to start getting um, barriers for me. So yeah, we could definitely lose this to, to Lee Sin if they have Lee Sin. Man, still another unit? We seriously cannot get anything but units. Yay, no Lee Sin. I, I mean, I should have played the help picks, but probably fine. Looks like we're gonna be four now. You like frogs, huh? Understood. All right, GGS. Yeah, they're just casting some spells. Maybe they have a quest to cast spells. Okay, we're gonna go for our five-zero. Ooh, playing a somewhat mirror match. Also having Lulu Shen, but we're Noxus. We got Katarina. We're cool. They're Targon. Not cool. Uh, mulliganing those. Transfusion? Mulligan. I don't know. This is a tough call whether or not to mulligan transfusion. I'm going to mulligan it. We need quick attack. Good. That young witch is good. I like it. So on turn three, we can attack with quick, atta quick attack. Glory Seeker. No I like it. Ouch. 
Ouch. Sharpen the blade, secure the kill. This way! You're mine! They can have Hush. It kills my Glory Seeker. Would you like magic? But that would just be me trading two cards for three cards, right? Like, there are two cards and Hush. River shape the land and give Ooh, River Shape are good. That was a good card here. I wasn't as scared of Lulu, but Riv River Shape were better. Yeah, good card. What form will the waters take? <laughs> you changed the name of this deck to Cat Arms? What? What's the arms part for Cat Arms? Don't think I won't unmake you because I will. What? You will? That's rude. Ooh. Duplation or not duplation? I walk this space that is the question. Worlds. We're going to play Shen. Because we know they have some blocker that has a key guardian, right? Like, so they have they have something with barrier. Ooh, not playing it. So what are they going to do? Like, stand united or something? I don't know. All right, we will give you... Quick attack. Uh, let's see. We'll give Legion Drummer quick attack. No. Shen quick attack. An imbalance. And then this barrier... And then this quick attack. Them apart. Face me. Her deck is sweet. You a drummer the Shen? You just switch those two? I was thinking they're not they're probably not blocking the Shen. And so getting Shen the one additional point of attack could be kinda cool when when uh, that should just be going across. All right, so that gets Barrier and Lifesteal. So we're going to Whirling Death. Pick Shen. Attack here. I'll kill the River Shaper. Right, Grace Claus? Wolfcat always performs. We've gone 5-0, 4-1, 5-0, and now we're 4-0 with this deck. Those first two, the first 5-0 and 4-1 were in normal. So in Master's rank last time we went 5-0, and now this time 4-0. We swim within the flows of magic. Of magic. You guys have really got to keep your voices down. Okay. okay. Sweep them away. Alright, so get another spell. So I guess I should barrier the Glory Seeker to help stop their barriers. Yeah, Battering Ram's just not good enough for Constructed. There is some synergy for sure, but it's it's just too weak on it. It's too expensive. Very easy to disrupt. Just unfortunately, it's not good enough. It must be done. I don't really have to give Shen the quick attack. Give this thing quick attack, I suppose. Enforced equilibrium. You're mine. I don't think that they'll just have like, grant the thing elusive kind of card, but it's possible. It's new. <laughs> Sorry. I'm down to five. Alright, still going down to five. I can might here, but then they just cast another hush. So that doesn't really seem worth it. Um What if I do five? What if I do transfusion? Keep the glory seeker alive. Yeah. Now they can't hush anymore because hush costs too much mana. So now we go might. 
and that'll put him to negative one. GG's, they didn't have another hush. There we go, 5 0. You fought with honor. Wow, Swole Cat just always performs. Yeah. Five, back to back 5 0s in Master's rank with this deck. Just cool. I mean, we didn't we didn't cast a single Swole Squirrel, didn't do anything with Swole Squirrel. It's basically there to just kind of look cool. Our Swole, Swole Squirrel is. And um, I think there is some kind of pairing algorithm that like <clears throat> if we play Swole Squirrel, we don't get paired against like the the t we don't get paired against like I don't know. That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> I don't know, but we get paired against a lot of other kind of similar decks, a lot of other Ionia decks and stuff. And we do well in those matchups for sure. But you can see throughout those games, the MVP of the deck really is Trifarian Glory Seeker. This card's awesome. I think the Trifarian Glory Seeker and Jaw Hunters are both just amazing right now. We're going to be playing a couple other Jaw Hunters decks um, today, uh, including the Stalking Hunters. I thought about making a deck of, of Trifarian Glory Seeker plus Jaw Hunters, of like putting those together, you know, with Legion Drummer and seeing what that would be like. But. Uh, going going a little bit different route for today with uh, Stalking Shadows and Jaw Hunters, but um, yeah, this deck's just sweet. Quick Attack with Challenge. Good combo. Good combo. Quick Attack, Challenge. And then you just got your other good support. You know, Barrier plus Challenge. Grow grow the Health plus Challenge. Might, might was okay. I mean, but Whirling Death looked good. We, we had a couple of really good Whirling Death stuff going on there. Um... Transfusion, yeah, Transfusion did some work for sure. Yep, Transfusion was was very good. Um, Sheltering Hand, uh, re seven three awesome months. Y'all get the hype boats in the chat. Cordac Cabo got those hype boats. Thank you so much, Maximus. Thank you. So Sheltering Hand with that re sub. Thank you so much. All right, so there we go. That's Wool Cat. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And if you've been trying this deck also, let me know how it's been going for you. If you like playing something a little bit different, a little off the wall that can still compete even in a Masters rank, you got it right here with Swole Cat. All right, but anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.